Nah. But there's only so much he can do, let's be honest. Adren, how's he made his way into short? This could be a nasty surprise. Perfect flashbangs elsewhere. Adren of a 2K, it's not over after all, but is it? The bomb falling into Arch. Yeah, Adren needs to do more work here. You'd think that Patsy did enough there. Two great entry frags, but that bomb indeed being lost is such a huge issue. Adren starts to work on that engagement there as Zipex protects the bomb. Will he go for the peak here using the smoke to try to get some additional damage done? But Device comes in from behind. And Adren, his story in this round is over. It's up to Dozier to make the 1v3 a reality. And there is some time for Dozier to work these positions, but ultimately, the fact that the bomb is in arch and that he has to pick it up and that the CTs know exactly where it is does not change. That's a great shot, though. A good way to kick things off here, but still two more to go. What is this? Dozier gets two. There's still one more to go, though. Zipex protecting the bomb, and Dozier looks to round the corner now. Where is Zipex? Where is Zipex? Dozier asked the question. Now he knows. Surely not. Zipex denies him a mere four points of health. And what a way to hold your nerve to prevent Gambit from stealing another round. Astralis pick up map two. We're going to a third map. Astralis doing it the hard way, losing their pick, winning the pick of their opponent. And indeed, we will be going to train the third map of this best of three. You do wonder about the psyche of Gambit because that was, a, I think it has to be said, that was a really bad map from them. They didn't really win much beyond the, uh, the four spies and the pistol run. I think it was three rounds beyond that. So. Very difficult stuff from them. Seem to fall apart mentally towards the end, and some some odd things with communication as well. So that looks really hard for Gambit, but they've got a short break to get their heads back into the game before they fight for a place in the finals. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. They they sort of committed themselves into bad economy, and we all know how that can turn out on the CT side. And then it really didn't seem like they could gel together some of the rounds in the way that they wanted to on the T side, on the offensive side. And this is what I was talking about, especially right at the beginning of this, this match. Astralis are a team where they just have such good fundamentals that it's hard to break them. Astralis definitely happy with that situation. It's a good map, good momentum for them moving into the uh, last map.